Greetings people of YouTube, this is MKM Forever Tony and um, right now I'm going to be doing this like this little quick um, review of two movies that I recently saw and uh, well th th this isn't exactly a review, this is more of a rant because okay the two movies that I saw, you probably saw up there are of course um, Maniac and a mutilator. Now these are pretty much old school movies back in the day movies but um yeah you know uh, I mean these movies uh, I'm gonna review them because of course I was introduced to these movies by a good friend of mine on here Epri. CR12 is here to stay and uh, you know I, he, he asked me if I could give, like give a review on these movies and that's what I plan to do here so so here goes nothing. Let's uh I'm, I'm gonna try to squeeze both of these movies into one because I mean, I, okay. First of all, I didn't like them. Okay, I didn't like them. Uh, just right, right off the bat, I did not like them. So I can start with the the Mutilator. Now the Mutilator is this movie from back in the day. I, I, man, I wish I could remember the exact date, but I mean, this movie. I just I'm just gonna give you a plot real quick. Okay, the movie opens up, we see a kid um, polishing, I guess, uh, would be a pistol, no, not a pistol, uh, <coughs> a shotgun. He's polishing a shotgun or playing with something, messing around with it. And uh, he accidentally uh, pulls the trigger, and uh, it, and it, it was a loaded gun. So, you know, it, the bullet goes through uh, and co comes out of the gun uh, through a door and hits his mom in the back, you know, because his mom right in the spine, basically, you know, and, um, uh, that scene alone, uh, was really hard to watch. Now, visually, because if you mute the video, it doesn't, it doesn't look, it's, it's not really hard to watch, or the music by itself is pretty cool. I like the music by itself, you know, but, I don't know, just like that combination between the music and what's going on on camera, just, you know, unsettling, you know. I did not like hey, that scene, you know, it was a little unsettling. And anyway, of course, the mom gets killed, and um, the dad gets furious at, at his kid, and I guess the kid, um, like, runs away or something, I'm not sure, because, I mean, the, the plot's forgettable, you know, I mean, the, the, the plot for both of these movies is forgettable. But, um, anyway, uh, fast forward uh, a couple years uh, after after that happened. Um, the kid who um, shot his mom in the back um, by accident is now a, a little grown up. Anyway, he gets, a, he, he gets some sort of, uh, oh man, it's just like, I, I'm sorry, it's just a forgettable story. I just really didn't like this thing. And, um... He gets a, a letter saying that he should go visit his dad, you know, because he hasn't spoken to his dad in, in a while. And last we saw the dad, he was pretty much furious at the kid, you know. He was, I mean, God, furious, you know, because for killing his wife. And um, and this one, and, and, and this one more, more, like I said, he gets the letter, right? And uh, he goes to go see his father, but he makes the mistake of bringing his friends along. I don't know why he would do that. I mean, I honestly don't think that that would have been a good idea to begin with. And um, uh, pretty much, I mean, I, I see this coming a mile away. The dad starts killing all of his friends one by one. That's right. He starts. The dad comes back and you know just basically takes using it as a signature as a signature weapon or, or thing to kill, you know, a, a big rusty uh, metal hook, you know, yeah, and uh, that's what what he, what he uses as a, as a main weapon, you know. Now, the thing, uh, now, the thing I hate about this movie, well, I don't hate it, just, it's, it's hard to watch, you know, that's, that's the thing I hate, it's hard to watch, and, um, and, you know, it, and it's not the kills that, that are scary. It's not scary. It's disturbing, you know. Because scary is actually a good thing in a movie, you know. 
because scary movies would be like, uh, for example, Friday the Thirteenth. It wasn't that was, that was a little easier to watch. You know, there's a there's, there's some really gory parts in there, but um, it was you know watchable. You know, I liked. Plus, you're kind of rooting for Jason in those movies, in my opinion. You know, but um, and this one, you know, has none of that really. You know, you just have like mindless violence in this one. And now, my some people might say, but you, you like Jason and Jason and, and the Jason movies. You know, the Friday the Thirteenth movies, and you like um, Rambo, which. You know, John Rambo, Jam Rambo 4, which came out a little while ago, and Epi did a review on it. By the way, good job, Epi. Um, yes, I liked those movies, but because they had a point. You know, it wasn't just mindless gore. You know, it actually had a point. You know, they were trying to make something very important. And you care about the characters in those movies, but in this one, you're just, you just don't give a damn about the characters. And by the way, there, and I'm, I'm going to mention a couple of things about this um, and, um, the thing about this movie that I didn't like is that, sorry about that, it was somebody at the door. Anyway, um, the thing I didn't like about it is that, uh, it, there, there was a couple kills in, the, in this movie that I really didn't like. Number one being the, the first one that made me aware of this movie, The Mutilator, um, which is a scene where, well, I guess the dad takes this hook. Well, first he takes this this girl, one of his son's friends, and um, he, he lays her on a table, like garage or something, I don't know. And uh, he takes the hook and pretty much jams it, you know, starts sticking it into her uh, fun part, <laughs> so to say. And that... that Personally, that, that that to me it was a little hard to watch because I mean that's not something where you where a knife supposed to go. I mean, there's other, plenty of other places where the stabbing can go. You know, you can like for example, there's the neck, there's the head, there's you know anywhere else. I would have bought that. I would bought it. But I mean, that scene was really hard to watch. You know, just uh, oh god, you know, he was just sticking into this girl's pussy pretty much just sticking it in there and the girls does very little to fight him back that's, that's the thing that, find, that kind of annoyed me you know so yeah um the mutilator yeah it just didn't look it didn't it didn't it, it didn't do it for me you know it was just really hard to watch and uh now i'm going to talk a little bit about this other movie um now this one i had heard about but never actually seen it when this movie is, of course, Maniac. Now, Maniac, um, I heard about this movie, and uh, let me let me tell you this one. This is not as bad as the Mutilator, but it's still hard to watch. Okay, I, I, I'll will tell you that much. You know, it's not as bad as the Mutilator, but but it's it's still kind of hard to watch. Like for example, there's uh, you know lots of scenes. There's about it now. I didn't get the plot of the story because I didn't watch the whole thing. The whole thing because it was just a little too hard to watch, you know. And uh, I wanted to go back and see it, but when I go back, went back to see it, it was, it was, um, it was taken off YouTube. So, you know. Um, so I only saw to the part of, uh, I, I can't remember which part I saw, but I think it was like part five or something. That, I don't know. I'm not sure. But uh, I didn't get a chance to see the whole movie. But what I did see, I didn't like. You know. Plus, you know, I I had seen a, a scene from that movie before, <coughs> which was uh, that scene where uh, with Tom Savini. You know, I mean Tom Savini. Who doesn't know Tom Savini? You know, I mean the guy is pretty much the Walt Disney of gore and and cr evil creatures and you know stuff like that. He of course created. He worked on the Friday Thirteenth movies. You know, he's. Uh, I think he worked on Planet Terror as well, I'm not sure. And um he's he's done a lot of, you know, cool effects, you know. But in this one I feel they they went a little too far. Anyway, the scene which I'm talking about, it's um uh, <coughs> excuse me. It's uh, a scene where Tom Sabini, he's in a car with a girl, you know, and they're fooling around in there. 
And uh, the girl, she gets like this really weird vibe or something that somebody's outside the car.